Farmers have harvested record yields here in Nebraska, but what about marketing it? Our grill co-host Marilyn Barnett has more. Well, the challenge with markets continues for producers and Jeff from Heartland Farm Partners here with us. Of course, uh, you have a lot on the plate. Let's talk about ethanol, the demand there and, and what that all means. What are you seeing? You know, we had a little surprise come at us out of this last crop report. Actually, USDA went ahead and lowered the, the ethanol demand for corn and that's kind of surprising some people. And we've got a graphic to take a look at. What you can see is that this week, uh, actually at 10 o'clock this morning, the ethanol demand number came out. It showed at eight, 982,000 barrels a day is what we're currently producing. Um, what we need is about 943,000 barrels a day, which is our black line. Mm -hmm. If we look at it overall, compared to the orange line of last year, we're ahead 3.8%. But if we look at the year to date numbers, we're actually up 4.6%. So it's not that we're not producing the ethanol. Um, mm -hmm. USDA says we're gonna be down about 7 tenths percent. We don't necessarily think that's true. Where the change is actually coming from though, Marilyn is the fact that they, they say 75 million bushel demand is going to be taken away by grain sorghum. Uh -huh. And the reason for that is that China went ahead and started slowing up on the imports of grain mm -hmm. sorghum and that's made really grain sorghum kind of cheaper than what corn is. So that's what USDA is looking at. So it isn't that the ethanol demand is, is going away or backing up, just what they're using to produce it is different. And let's talk a little bit about prices here. We just did a story the other day that someone said, you know, the thought of having five dollar corn probably isn't going to be in the near future what do you see well what actually i think the best way to look at it is that there's enough corn out there that unless we have a weather problem you're right five dollar corn probably isn't in the picture but yet stocks are tight enough in the u.s and the world mm -hmm. that we're only one weather problem some way somewhere in the world away from prices up in that area again so we have to stay on our toes overall down the road though our research would indicate we still think we're going to see higher prices down the road we're surprised that we have backed up to these lows. As in previous broadcasts, I said I thought the lows had been in, uh -huh. but we got a little bit of surprise in this last report. And that happens. Now, yes, um, as far as marketing though, with prices the way they've been, you know, you, you need to be smart, right? What yeah. do you suggest for farmers? You know, there's a few things right now. For those unsold bushels that are out there yet, I'd say, you know what, sit back, um, don't panic in here. There'll be some better prices down the road. If you've got some bushels that are under storage, at some point we'll want to convert those bushels from storage over to a basis contract. We think the basis levels will get very attractive here, but it, they're not quite there yet. Mm -hmm. And on those hedge to arrive bushels you have, just wait on setting the basis yet. Um, there's gonna be some better numbers down the road. If you haven't rolled from December to March futures yet, for some of you out there, you know, go ahead and get that done because we think the carry is gonna come out of the market as we go forward. Okay, great advice again. Thank you so much, Jeff. Up. If you have questions, remember Heartland Farm Partners, they are great to talk to, easy to talk to, and if you need information, go to our website, nebraska.tv. Still to come, meet an FFA student building a cattle herd of his own and a special tribute as folks around Scotia come together with a harvest bee.